welcome back to my YouTube channel and today in this video I'm going to give you guys a tour of my room so that you know what a dorm or accommodation room in a university in London or in UK looks like and on top of that I'm also going to give you guys an accommodation tour so that you guys have a brief idea what the facilities provided are in the university accommodations and what it actually looks like in real life. So make sure you watch my end video till the end and you give it a like and subscribe. So let's get started. Just let's get into my room now. So, when you first enter the room, you see there's a mirror and a sink in there, which I think is a really good thing. So, you don't always have to go to the washroom every time you need to wash your hands or do anything. And the mirror is pretty decent in size, the sink is pretty okay. And uh, here, you also get a cupboard so that you can keep your toiletries in here. Right now, uh, it's about time for me to move out, so I've taken out a lot of things from here. So yeah, you get a decent amount of space in here as well. There are two shelves in it. Then we see we get um, a cupboard, a full-size cupboard in here. So like on top of that, I've kept all my storage boxes and like basically yeah, I've used that as a storage space for me because we don't have enough space and I have a lot of things. And now I'll show you what the cupboard looks like. So, this cupboard is pretty decent in size, but I have a huge problem. Like, I have a lot of clothes, so I find it very small for me. Um, and yeah, they, there are like three shelves in here. I've like literally stacked everything in there, it's very disorganized. Then you get like a rod as well for your hangers. And even here as well, you get enough space. Um, and then like yeah on the, its bottom you also get a drawer so I've get my kept my shoes and like more toiletries and other things in there so this is the entrance of the room now I will show you what the rest of the like the main part of the room looks like so when you first enter this is what you will see yeah it's like a square shape This is the bed and uh, it's a small single size bed. Um, I find it comfortable to like sleep on. Some people find it like the mattress, they find it very hard but like you can obviously just get it changed from the reception of your accommodation. But other than that, it's all fine for me. The size is pretty decent. So then here I also get like a bed lamp. I don't know up like uh, this lamp that I use so it has a pretty dim light in it and you'll also get like a soft board to put whatever you want to put over there so I've just like decorated it with my photographs my kind of cal calendar my music photographs and some posters and lights you can decorate it however you want to a lot of people put different things on there then we see we are also provided with a big shelf I find this shelf pretty weird because like I can put a lot of things in here but it's the amount of gap between the shelf and the upper, upper shelf is that like it, it like stops me from putting a lot of things so like yeah <laughs> this is the like most disorganized part of my room I'd say uh, I usually keep my books over there and like write that on the side table and like my other accessories and it's my food in that basket and my hair accessories in this one and the bottom one it's just a thing that I like use only once in a while so it's my medicine some of these snacks and like the other accessories and plus I have like I'm an international student so I have like a lot of suitcases and bags so some of my bags are kept here this is my college backpack and this is the bag that I bought my stuff in and I'll also show you what the uh, uh, what it looks like underneath the bed so you get enough space to keep your other things so I've kept my suitcase over there I also have a big suitcase which I used to keep over there but like since I'm moving out so I'm doing my packing so I've taken it out and yeah you get like decent amount of space to keep your things underneath the bed so I usually keep my shoes and my suitcase and other storage things now let's come to the favorite part of the room it is the window so like the window and the view from outside the window is just like super like I think this is one of the best views that I in my accommodation because since I'm I'm living on floor seven, so I literally can see 
good things from my room and uh, also like i get a bigger window than other people it's just in my building like people are living on uh, different floors have different sized windows and this one is pretty big so like i've also used the window shelf as a place to keep my things and like i've decorated with my polaroids so you get it with curtains as well so you don't have to buy curtains when you get in here but uh, like you get the mattress but you have to bring your own bed sheet covers to make covers duvet and like the pillow and the pillowcases yeah and also you get it with a chair so like there's a chair in my room as well which is like a pretty decent chair like most of the times university students use this chair just as another place to keep your things and not sit in there but like yeah i'd like to keep it clean <laughs> Then if we move to the next side of my room, so I call this room as the dumping zone of my room. So like when I need to like keep some things aside or like I'm planning to dump them, I'll just like keep it there. Or like I'll use this area as my storage room because I don't have to go over there. I don't have anything to do in that space. So I just like use this as my storage area. And like we also get like a radiator in here and it's a pretty cool radiator. So like, I mean, what can I say about the radiator? It's a very basic one. Yeah, and I used to have a poster over there, but like I'm moving out, so like I just took it out right now and it, it like basically came off. Now let's have a look at what my study table looks like. So the best thing about the study table is that it's pretty long, so it's very huge and you'll have enough space to keep your laptop, your monitor, your desk, like whatever you want to keep. If you have loads of books in here or a lot of stationery. So I, I have like a, a laptop and I don't have a monitor in so like, I have loads of space in here. I usually keep my uh, bills basket over there and like my tissue paper and my kitchen roll here. And then here I keep my books. And here I use this more of like a storage area. So like I'll keep my uh, some of the vitamins over there, my jewelry over here. Like this is my stationery box for my pens and everything else is kept in there. And some of the snacks are here. And um, even the drawer is pretty good. I like the drawer. So like I've taken out a lot of stuff right now, but like you can see how big and like spacious the drawer is. You'll also get like a uh, space for some uh, for a dustbin here. So you'll be provided with a dustbin, but it would be your responsibility to clean the dustbin every day. So like basically you'll be provided the room very clean, but it would be your responsibility to maintain your room. And like for that you'll get a hoover or room hoover in the kitchen and you'll be uh, you'll have to like clean the room on your own you'll have to use a vacuum cleaner on your own so yeah this is it this is what my room looks like so yeah this is it this is what my room looks like i hope you enjoyed my room tour and this will have given you a brief idea of what your university dorm or accommodation room will look like if you come here to study So this is what my floor looks like. There are 14 rooms on this floor and we are provided with two kitchens and two washrooms, so one for guys and one for girls. Right now I'm taking you guys to the kitchen so you can see what the kitchen looks like. I'm sure you might have seen a little bit of it in my previous video as well. So this is kitchen B. This is a very big kitchen and um, so we are provided with two sinks here like uh, loads of cupboards so like basically everyone has taken two cupboards each and like all the cupboards have a lot of space in it as you can see you can like put your stuff in there very easily yeah so you'll also be provided with a microwave uh, in this kitchen we have like two stoves we'll be provided with stoves and the oven and um, the toaster and the kettle as well. So like the rice cooker belongs to us and all the other things which are kept on the shelf belongs to us. We also have a decent size dining table in here. And uh, there are two dustbins in here as well. So there are more cupboards in here. There's a freezer here and two refrigerators which are a decent size as well as you can see. You can like always share the space with anyone or you can like have one shelf each depends on how you decide with your flatmates yeah so now I'll take you to the washrooms or the toilets 
so this is the guys washing and this is the girls washing part like i'll show you the girls washing from inside and it's basically the same as the guys washing so in every washroom there are two toilets which are the same much to say about the toilet it's a very basic toilet and the other one is the same as this one and we are provided with two shower as well so like we'll be given two showers in here it's like light in there I just turned it on it's a decent size mirror and yeah so the funny thing is that like I find the shower to be very small or not like very small but like slightly smaller it's all around it, like it's not like I find I struggle in taking a shower or so. And the like the shower knob is also very different, so you have to like press it, then it will go on. It's not like you have to turn the tap. I think that's the normal you know, part, but you have to like press it in every five seconds. So now I'm gonna go around the accommodation and show you all the facilities that we are provided with. So this is the entrance and like on the entrance first you can or like for my accommodation we have our mailboxes right here and you on a daily basis like if you receive your mail you have to collect it from here. Now I'll go around and like show you the other parts of it. So this is our courtyard and like you can like go and like chill around there, sit over there or like park your bicycles over there and the other buildings which are surrounding the accommodation are also different accommodations and different buildings. Now I'm gonna head towards the laundry room and show you how the laundry room looks like here. So here's the laundry room and it's a pretty massive laundry room in here. You get a lot of washing machines and on this side we have our dryers in here. So basically how this works is like you all have to make your own um, so kit account on the app and then you have to load your money in there and every time you use the machines you'll be charged for it. So. Um, for a washing machine it's 2.8 pounds and uh, here for a dryer it's 1.8 pounds. You also get a couch in here so just like you can sit and relax while you are doing your laundry and you also get a iron and a stand for it. Now I'm gonna take you guys to our common room and I feel like a common room is pretty amazing. So this is our common room in here you can just like come around and like chill with your friends and like here we have a TV as well you can watch anything you want and you have 24 7 access in here. Students usually come in here to hang out with their friends and even on the move at night we all had a big party in here so that we could socialize with everyone. So, yeah, it's a pretty big common room. And like in my accommodation, we have like a huge common room. It's a lot bigger than other common rooms. Oh well, we also have a TV room and music room in here. This is the TV room. So like it's meant for watching the TV in here but like a lot of times students just come in here to hang around because like mostly students go to the common room and then here you can have your own private space because very few students come in here and to be fair I've only come here once when I was showing around my friend I've never used the TV room or even the like music room which I'm going to show you next so sadly the music room is locked right now so I can't show you guys I'm inside but like from here I can see there's some drums in there maybe a, gas, uh, a piano 
Yeah, yeah, so basically, just like a very common music room. So now I'm heading towards the reception to show you guys that. Oh, so now I'm gonna show you guys the reception, the study room, and the library. So this is our reception, which is usually closed on Sundays. Maybe they're having a break, like I'm quite not sure about it. This is the other male box area, and uh, yeah, here you can like just sit down and chill out with your friends. Uh, so this is the common room study room. So we do have study rooms inside the uh, inside the university buildings as well. But here, you can choose to like study in here in your accommodation as well. It's a quite nice study room. We get a printer, some computers and like yeah it's nice to sit around here there is a library and like somebody is studying in there right now so I won't go in there to disturb them but like yeah this one is pretty cool as well this is the dining room which is basically your canteen where you can have your breakfast and lunch dinner if you're enrolled in catered accommodation so right now it's Sunday and on Sundays they don't uh, they shut it down after the breakfast or the brunch so I can't go inside right now but like you can see the massive tables in there so over there uh, yeah over there they provide the buffet food and yeah it's a pretty cool dining room 